Hello, Sarah Pickerell from Amenesis Hospice, coming to you live from my from my living room. Uh, I know a lot of you are stuck at home, and I'm I'm lucky enough that I get to get out about. But I usually start my days here in the morning, which is nice. Um, I want to share with you a little bit from uh, Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40 begins by saying, "Comfort, comfort, oh comfort, my people," says the Lord your God. And I think we all need some of that, don't we? Comfort, oh comfort, just reminds us of, of peace and of being comfortable and, and, uh, and a sucker for our weary souls, right? Those r words run deep for all of us during this season. We need comfort. Um, you know, all, we're going through different stresses. We, every day you watch the news, it's something new and different to be a scare, scared of, you know? Um, more COVID-19 tests are on the rise, more people um, dying or hospitalizations or, you know, kids do, having trouble in school if they're at home or, you know, going part-time in person or, you know, another friend who's maybe lost a job or needs some help. And there's hundreds of ways that you might be feeling overwhelmed or needing comfort, as, especially for our caregivers here who are caring for loved ones and, and worrying themselves and trying to figure out how best to support them every day. The word we interpret as comfort here in the Hebrew is the word nakam, and the more literal meaning is to breathe, to breathe deeply, sigh or pant or even groan. So the interpretation has more to do with the implication of such actions, right? When we see somebody worked up in a panic or so filled with grief that they can't catch their breath, it provokes us to comfort. We're moved to compassion and to pity. That deep sigh is a sign that you're in need and people, your people who are around you, who care for you and love you, respond to that. Likewise, the deep breaths are a form in themselves of comfort. Often when I encounter somebody in distress, I you know, simply breathe deeply with them. I want to, you know, you want to come in close and show them how to breathe again. You know, not in deep stressed gulps, but that slow, intentional wave that calms the heart and the spirit and allows you to enter into a space that helps you to reflect and regain some of yourself. The slow breaths not only fill you up, but somehow also spill out and provide life for someone else as well. So comfort, oh comfort, my people, all who listen and all who need to hear. Comfort yourselves, comfort others, receive comfort. Amen.